I'm starting a new job in aerospace engineering and I would not have got there without MC. I was an average student in um, high school. I went to Watkins Mill High School in Gaithersburg. Graduated, went to Montgomery College right after high school. I wanted to take a break from school for a while, so I worked for a few years and then I went into the U.S. Air Force. I did four years active duty and came back, wanted to continue my education, came back to MC. Before when I went to MC, I wasn't really knowing what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure what major I wanted. But when I came back, I knew I definitely wanted to do something in hard science. Had some wonderful professors here that were not worried about having to publish. They didn't have research they needed to do. They were solely focused on the students. And I transferred to University of Maryland from Montgomery College using their transfer program. I was able to transfer in and be at the exact same aptitude as students that were there for since freshman year. The small class size was really what made me flourish, um, and I missed those things when I went to Maryland. Dr. Louie, my physics professor, and Professor Wheatley, Professor Hammond, these were all professors in hard science that really got me to appreciate uh, what I was doing and where I was headed. Do you have an 11 o'clock class? Or? No, no, do you want to no. yeah, sit? Sure. They were really encouraging and they took the time. You know, if I went to their office hours, they were willing to help me. So I really do appreciate that about MC and the teachers they have here. I think that being a community college, it's right in the name, community. Um, the relationships that I fostered here and the community feel that you get from a localized educational facility such as this, it's really just the best way to, to reach your peak for what you want to know. I graduated from University of Maryland. I'm starting a new job at Northrop Grumman, and I would not have got there without MC.